Here we have the all new 2019 Toyota RAV4. This is the trail edition in lunar rock with the white roof. The 19 inch aluminum alloy rims. They have a basically a matte black with a brushed aluminum finish. Now it's gonna come with the nice unpainted fender flares. Uh, the body skirting down below is also not painted. You're gonna have the painted handles. You get the black mirrors with the signal lights on the mirrors. As we come around the front here, it also has the black grill. Comes with fog lights, LED daytime running lights, LED headlights and LED high beams, as well as Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. And there'll be a link down below. <clears throat> it's got the brushed aluminum finish with the nice inner door handles. Um, RAV4 badging, cup holders in the doors. It comes with the nice aluminum door sill protectors. We have style matte standard here in Canada anyways. Uh, you get the black leather interior with the orange stitching. It has a really nice pattern. Also has kind of this orange stripe cloth spot here. And then on the dash, it comes it has the nice soft touch finishes. Um, and then you get this sort of orange tray here that's kind of an anti-slip surface. So if you have something in there, hopefully it doesn't just slide out on you. You get the kind of a storage area behind the seats. You're going to have the two USB ports down below, which are the 2.1 amp. Uh, the back seats, a 60-40 split with cup holders just down here in the middle. And then if you flip from the top of the edge here, this will come down flat. And then you have that nice sort of transition into the back rear finish on it. Now it has the smart key system, so you can open it remotely from here. Or you can push the button just on the back door as well. You get the nice black badges here for the RAV4 symbols. Comes with the tonneau cover, which is nice. Actually, it's a works and slides a lot easier than previous generations. You're going to get the power outlet here, just up in the side. Also has the 12 volt uh, option there. And then with your back here, this will actually lift up. And if you need it to, you can pull this forward. And if you look on the edges here, you can actually slide it underneath this. So if you do need that little extra inch, essentially for height, you do have that as an option. The other really cool thing about this cargo tray is if you do lift it up and pull it out, you can actually flip it upside down like this. And you have that hard plastic that is easier to uh, keep clean and come down the side here on the driver's side. You're going to get blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. Now with smart key system to lock the doors as long as you have the key on you, touch the lines here or they are actually just below underneath here as well. And that will lock the doors. There will be a little bit of a delay where you can't open it again. And then if you grab the handle, doors unlock automatically. If you hold it for three seconds, you'll actually see that it opens the passenger side there as well. Um, now on the driver side, we got your power mirrors, power windows. Um, they all have this nice like rubber grip on the inside handles, which is nice. Uh, you get the power driver seat with height control. Uh, under your knees, the whole seat itself goes up and down, tilt, lumbar support just up here for your lower back. And then in here you're going to have your trunk and gas tank release uh, or your hood and gas tank release. You can dim the dash lights, automatic high beam, heated or front windshield wiper de-icer so that under the wipers actually heats up. Um, heated mirror or uh, steering wheel, power rear door, little cubby hole for uh, more storage and things like that. And then you do have tilt and telescopic steering. Now as we get inside here you get your um, controls, everything in the multi-information display there. And you get your cruise control, lane departure, radar cruise, um, and your audio system controls are there with the uh, volume control and your push to talk button there. 
Okay, so for push to start, you put your foot on the brake, hit the start button. It's gonna fire up in here. Nice little animation in the start. Now there's a few different things you're gonna see in here. So if I engage your mud and sand option, it flips to that. And you're gonna see the colors change. If I engage your um, rock mode, rock for rock and dirt, it goes to that. And then you'll have, of course, your normal mode there too. Um, sport mode, normal, and eco will also change the colors. And then you're gonna have your snow mode that comes up with that snowflake up in the top right corner. Uh, now with the trail edition, you're also gonna get your downhill acceleration control, which is essentially a slow speed cruise control for going up or down the hill. And we'll flip it back to normal. Now all of that was being controlled from here. So you have your eco, normal, and sport mode. Your mud, which changes this to yellow. Your rock, which goes to almost like a purple color. And then hitting the middle goes back to your normal, which is blue. And then you have your snow mode and your downhill acceleration assist there. Uh, just underneath here, you're going to have your data. So this is where you're going to plug it in for your scout gps or if you want to stream music or you're actually if you have uh, an apple iphone and you want apple carplay that's where you plug your phone into for uh, apple carplay now uh, you have the t um, wireless charging pad here so you can set your phone there it charges it up remotely or remotely wirelessly you can turn your traction control off here uh, you have heated and cooled seats and then you do have dual climate control there, um, which you control, obviously. You have automated uh, or manual fan control. Heated rear mirror or rear, rear window and heat mirrors is there. And then up in the top here, you're gonna see it has the full sunroof with tilt and telescope, or tilt and um, full open. Um, you get the lights here your SOS or your um, safety connect there for Toyota and then you get the sunglasses holder there as well now here you're gonna also get your uh, rain sensing automatic wipers you're gonna get on this side a automatic headlights with automatic high beams too now as long as you have the button down here pushed for your automatic high beams when this is auto, you just push forward and you'll have auto high beams that turn on automatically. You'll see in the top corner there too. Now, one of the nice little finish features that they do and that came from the Camry as well is when you're on auto, these lines all line up instead of it seeming like it's not supposed to be there, which is kind of neat too. Um, now, we're gonna go through here. Now, when you first get into the car, sometimes you'll have your Entune system that updates like this. Um, you can download it in the background or update and things like that there too, but we'll go through that in one quick second. Okay, so now you're in the audio system. I'm going to do a whole separate video on this exact system. Um, you're going to see it in the links just at the end of this video or in the descriptions below. But just a quick brief run through. Um, you do have... On your main screen, um, you can connect your phone. If you hit map, uh, you'll turn on Scout GPS link, which will be actually run off of your phone here as well. Otherwise, under audio, you have AM, FM, satellite radio, auxiliary input. Um, with your Sirius XM, you do have the ability to set up where if you set a station, it'll actually record up to an hour on that station, any presets that you do and SXM replay, you'll actually be able to rewind up to um, an hour on all those stations that you preset in the system itself, which is a fantastic system too. Um, otherwise, under apps, once your phone's connected, you're gonna have Scout GPS, Slacker Radio, NPR One, Yelp Fuel, Sports Traffic, and Weather, that will all come up through that system too. But again, I'll do a whole walkthrough on that in another video that you can see in the descriptions below. Now, in the console here, you are gonna see that there is two USB ports there. So there's five in total, four speed charging, one for data. Um, you get the cup holders in the middle, really nice shift knob through here in the middle, and a few other features like um, full speed cruise control and everything, which again, I will link in the descriptions below on how you can read about that. 
But again, you can look at the video and descriptions and link. Please subscribe and I would love to hear from you below. Uh, like the video and thanks for watching. This is Mike Linterman.